New Jersey is still waiting to hear back from FEMA to find out if some unemployed workers would be eligible for an additional $300 a week in payments under the Lost Wages Supplemental Assistance Program. FEMA has asked New Jersey to submit some additional information in its grant request, and that's being done today. If New Jersey's application is approved, unemployed workers who qualify should receive the funds in October, according to the state labor department. The number of newly unemployed workers filing claims in New Jersey held steady in the past week at just over 20,000. Nationally, fewer workers filed for first-time jobless claims in the latest week, and the number of people staying on unemployment is now decreasing as more people go back to work. The state's number crunchers have some issues with the new fiscal budget proposed by the Murphy administration. In a survey of nearly 900 CPAs, more than 60 percent oppose the idea of borrowing money or raising taxes to fill a revenue gap. New Jersey Society of CPA CEO Ralph Thomas says they prefer to see cost-cutting measures instead. New Jersey needs to reset. We need to step back and take a look at Know, where we can be more efficient um, from, you know, things to the spending that's taking place with uh, various programs um, with the state, and as opposed to looking to always tax our way out of this. 78% of the CPA surveyed felt the proposed budget would make the state's economy worse in the long term. Lawmakers and advocates held a press conference today to lobby against a proposed change in a federal banking rule. Under that change, certain online lenders would be able to charge high interest rates. That's something that New Jersey law currently forbids. They say residents and businesses would be more likely to be faced with predatory lending if this change occurs and that minority communities would be among the hardest hit. Big day of selling on Wall Street. Here's a look at the numbers. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories.